Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Jocelyn and this is our first video, my first upload of 2021. So Happy New Year, guys, if I haven't already said so to you. What I wanted to do today, I am just popping on to share with you my office and new bookshelves because it's all things papery here um, because I have been rearranging stuff over the holidays, the Christmas holidays. So I thought I would show you a little bit of it. I know quite a few of you have mentioned it. I'll pop them over on Instagram. So I'm just going to walk you around. I'll start with actually, I'm bringing you back. We got a new sofa here that is perfect for sitting on just there and uh, watching TV, which I'll show you in a second. This is my desk area. You may well have seen this. If you follow me on Insta, you will probably have seen glimpses of my desk quite often. Um, what I did buy, uh, I already had one of these little drawer units here, which was super handy. And I realized that I could fit another one next to it. So that is what I did. Uh, I had some like bits of stationery that were annoying me because they were sitting on the floor. So now they're all nice and tidy. Um, my little pen, I've got a lot of pens. Well, these are the ones that I just like to have out. Obviously, oh, I've got more pens than that. My little plant, it's a new little plant stand. Um, my husband got me that for Christmas. Got a couple of them, the other ones in the living room. I love them. And then I got, if I walk back a little bit, you'll, la, 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 la. I'll be able to show you a little bit better. I then got all of these things here. So kind of this setup here with the bookcases uh, and the unit in the middle for the TV. Um, and as you can see, like the kids play their games there at the PlayStation and the Switch there. And in those cupboards underneath, there's loads and loads and loads of DVDs and games and things. Um, this picture, if you read on my blog, if you follow me on my blog, um, I got this, I was gifted this picture. I've got a full review on the blog, um, this canvas. I'll, I'll get a bit closer, actually, it's beautiful. I could choose anything. Of course, I chose books. Um, and then I still, the only, the last thing that we need to do in here is we need to paint it. We're gonna paint all the walls white. That's just something we haven't quite got round to yet, but I thought I would still come and show you it. Um, so on the shelves here, as you can see from sort of the bottom up, these are, these boxes are all snail mail supplies um that little polka dot box there that you can see just there doo, doo, doo. Uh, that keeps all of my letters in that my pen pals have sent to me um then there's more pen pal supplies and felts there and then just loads of notebooks that are still blank one day i will use them uh, a couple of little plants a little phytonias on the shelf there uh, and then some of my books there it's a load of Eloisa James books and uh, Sarah McLean books. And then over here, another shelf. Uh, go down. So on here, I have um, various like cookbooks and gardening books and stuff. I have, I ordered these little white boxes too for like bits of stationery and stuff that I could pop in. They've been really handy actually. Uh, then got all of my Julia Quinn books there. Uh, and then all of these books, actually, let me just check as I'm scrolling up. All of these are still to be read. I haven't read any of these yet. What I did, I couldn't decide how to group them. Tell me in the comments, actually, how do you arrange your bookshelves? I chose to do them by genre, kind of by genre, and then by author. So you can see I've kind of got like horror, thriller, crime type things up here. Um, so I've, as you can see, I've grouped these together, these together, um, by certain author. Uh, then I've got kind of lighter reads there. And then, and then I kind of, I've got a little bit of fantasy at the back of that shelf by the looks of it. Uh, I've got some classics on the front. Um, as I say, a lot of these still to be read, which is exciting. Um, and then kind of. Well, other ones that didn't really fit, they're kind of more literary fiction, maybe some historical fiction in there. Um, anyway, that's how I chose to do it. How would you choose to do it? I did, I did run a little poll on Twitter and some people do it 
alphabetically, which I haven't done. I've just grouped my authors together. Some people do it by author, by genre, by whether they've read it, whether they haven't read it. Um, other people do it by colours as well. That seems to be increasingly popular. It doesn't feel... I, I'm not sure of the colour thing. I get the aesthetic, but it, there's something about it that doesn't appeal to my organisation. It doesn't feel right. I don't know. Tell me what you think. I'd love to know what you think. Um, so that's it. That's my office. I've got a little plant up there. Um... That's the law. This is where I spend a lot of time. At the moment, my daughter's spending a lot of time at my desk at homeschooling. Um, but then, normally this is where I spend my time. Got my beautiful light there. <coughs> Excuse me. That my sister-in-law got for me. More plants here. Keep my little letter rack here with snail mail that needs to all be replied to. Uh, and this is a lovely, like an antique stationery chest which I could nip into if you want me to show you that one day. It's really got lots of nice, cute little compartments in it. And that's it. That's my tour. That's my office. I'm quite pleased with it. I'd love to know what you guys think. How would you arrange it? What sort of things would you do? Uh, have you got a similar setup, maybe? Um, the dream is to have wall-to-wall -wall bookcases. So I'm making slow progress. The kids still want to have the TV, they want to play the games, but the progress is there, isn't it? So one day, we'll talk, it'd be like an, a library come office is the idea, and that's kind of the, the thing I'm trying to create in here at the moment. And with the sofa in here, I can sit snugly and read. So that's it. I will leave you there. Uh, give me a thumbs up, please, if you enjoyed the little tour, if you enjoyed looking around. I would love to hear your comments, any suggestions. Tell me about your office or your happy little place with all your books and stationery. I love hearing all about it. Um, and do hit subscribe for papery type videos uh, every couple of weeks. Thank you. Bye.